Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Not a reaction for once in my life, I know. This is the long-awaited, probably not long-awaited by anyone, but this is the long-awaited Ruby characters tier list. It's took me ages because holy crap, I just had to get in the mindset of doing this goddamn thing because there's a lot of characters to go through. Like, I, I, I can't even count on here. I'm pretty sure this doesn't even have all of the characters as well. I think this is it's it is it's updated only to volume eight, which I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, we're we're locking a lot of characters already, and I can 100% guarantee I'm probably going to end up forgetting a lot of them because there's so many characters here that literally show up like once, or the with the the fighting festival. And that's it, that's the only time you ever get to see them, like team, what was a team, like coffee and things like that. You barely see them. So, th there's going to be a lot of research having to be done <laughs> for like the characters that I don't know. To sort of re reset my memory, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. But anyways, we're just going to get straight into it because this episode's going to take a long ass time. And I've got like 50 minutes. So, <laughs> hey, always running out of time story of my life. Anyways, without further ado, let's go. Alright, so this is what we're looking at so far. So I have Don't Remember, which there could be a crap ton of characters on here. Uh, hate, Dislike, Neutral, Like, Love, and Top 5, because everybody has to have a Top 5. Now, as we all know, I have I had a love-hate relationship with Iron Daddy, who I will now just, he's just Ironwood to me now. He's dead! Fucking dead to me. He used to be in my top five. I don't think he's going to be anymore. So we'll have to just wait and see. But uh, yeah, let's just crack on. By the way, this is the, uh, the just how if I like the character or not. I'm not delving deep into like the lore. And maybe I'll I'll mention if like, I think they, they made like a good villain. Because like, I'm always with the heroes. I, I've always have been ever since I was a kid. I'm like, my God, I would love to be a superhero. And, you know, I'm always with the heroes and not with the villains. So if I think like, you know... I hate that character. For example, prime example right here, Adam. That guy can suck two dicks. I hate him. He sucks ass. But do I think he makes a good villain? Yes. Is he annoying in the story? Yes, he does his job well, but I just hate him as a character because of that. So I'm not like basing this on like if I think they're a good character. It's basically just my preferences on them themselves. For example, he can go and hate because I do hate him, but he does, he's, he does well, he's a good fighter, he's got a cool look, like, look to him, his aesthetic is pretty goddamn epic, uh, I like his semblance, and like, I just like his fighting style and the way it looks, it, it looks great, and he does great, and he kind of got killed in a bit of a bullshit way, I think, but I mean, it's, you know, he got stabbed twice and so, just sort of fell to his death, but in the story, he does well as a villain, and he does what he's supposed to do. And he kind of has like a... It's not exactly justified for what he was doing. But, you know, he has like a, a reasoning for it. It's not just, I'm bad for the sake of being bad. So, I hate him. He can suck a dick. But at the same time, I get it if you guys like him. Uh, I don't remember the name. But I know it's the baby. <laughs> well, of course it's the baby, Ryan. Look, it's literally right there. I'm just going to put in neutral. Like, I... I don't you, you saw him like a few times <laughs> he doesn't really do anything he's a baby so he just kind of sits there doing baby things you know sucking his thumb and chilling out you know it's baby things do and so I don't exactly I don't like him I don't dislike him he's just neutral he was just a character that was kind of there same with oh what's her name uh, Amber Amber she was the previous fall maiden right again neutral because I mean, she's bad. She's a maiden, so of course she's immediately badass. But at the same time, she doesn't really do anything for me. She's just kind of there. So yeah, she's going in neutral. Ambrose, I like it is Ambrose, right? Ambro Ambrosius, some 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 like It's it's kind of there. <laughs> God, this is gonna be such a scuffed video. Um. Yeah, I like him. Uh, I, I just like the way he goes on. His like, power to be able to create anything in existence, but he has to 
like, know it down to the last, very last detail. I think that's how his power works, right? Like, he has to know it down to the last detail. You have to describe it to him, like, blueprints. Otherwise, he, he'll not be able to make it. Uh, really cool power, and, you know, it's epic. And I just like him as a character. I find him, like, pretty funny. So, uh, yeah. I like him. Alright, we have, I think... Ugh, if memory serves, I think this is Ren's mom, right? I'm sure we saw her in the backstory. I'm, again, I'm gonna put her in neutral because I, I'm... It's, she seemed like a nice mom, I think, but she, like, I mean... She wasn't exactly in it for very long. God rest her soul. But uh, yeah, like she, she's just kind of neutral. She's just there. She's one of those characters. All right, next up we have this one. Now she was, oh, she she was the leader of Team Auburn. So, oh God, I can't remember. There's so many team names. She was a leader of a team. Uh, again, she was just kind of in the fighting festival. She didn't exactly do much. I don't, well, obviously she was kind of there like as, as a sort of throwaway character. I don't think you ever see her again. Um, I remember, like, I think her, her ability was like, I don't know, she could store power and use it or something. Like that was the way she used the aura. I can't really remember. So let's just move on. She's, <laughs> she's a replaceable character who, you know, you see like once, so, you know, sorry. All right, Blake, I'm going to put in love. All of Team Ruby, spoiler alert, is going to be in, in at least love because there's not one that I dislike. I know people, like, a lot of people dislike Blake because, you know, why the hell not? But I don't mind her. She She's there. Like she, I like her abilities. She's got a pretty badass ability. The, her semblance to, like, make copies of herself and... I think that they, they they have to be stationary, right? Because it's the opposite of Suns, because he can make copies of himself, but he has to be still, and they move. Opposite for her, she can still move, but they're still, I think. And there was a lot of moments where they, like, they'll catch you out and make you think that she's like died or something, and it turns out it's just one of her, like, her after images. But uh, yeah, I, li I like Blaine. Like, I've, I've got nothing against her. She's not... One of the characters in there that stands out. There's a lot of, you know, just her being being her. She is who she is, and I am who I am. All right, this guy, I I I just don't remember him. I can't tell if this is. Sorry, I'm just scanning around here. I can't tell. I don't think it is. All right, it's definitely not who I thought it was. I just had a quick look. Uh, it's Bolin. Uh, who I, I'm gonna just put don't remember, he was apparently in her team. Again, probably just a throwaway character, so yeah. <laughs> gonna move on. Same with, well, actually, same with this guy, I, I don't know who he is. He's probably one of a team, is it Team Bronze? Was he in Team Bronze? God damn it, there's so many characters I don't remember. Let's just say I don't remember them, we're just gonna move on vast, vastly. Wow, can't speak. This was the councilwoman. I do believe she is sat next, uh, stood next to um, the guy who got shot by Ironwood. When they both went out, he said, like, "What do you think you're doing?" And then Ironwood, when I, you know, was like, "Oh, he just goes out and shoots them both." Let us through. I am going to do everything I can to defend this kingdom. What? Just goes out and shoots them as well. No matter the cost. And what's this about martial law? Have you lost your damn mind? Are you that scared of what you're doing? Fuck me, I was only joking, James. Jesus Christ, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Can't just go out and shoot a man. And then, he, you know, he actually did. Well, I mean, I think, I think he only shot the guy, but. I think she was with him, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I, well, I'm gonna put her in neutral, I don't, like, she's, she's just kind of there, she's, I don't really care for her, she's, she's a goddamn councilwoman, no. Cardin, is he the guy, he's the asshole, right, the one that, um, always bullied, yeah, my boy, I think that's him, 
yeah, pretty sure that's him. Uh, I wouldn't exactly go as far to say that I hate him, but I definitely dislike him. The the way he tripped my boy was 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 disgusting. Oh God, yeah, it was, it was Carden Winchester. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember now. It's all coming back to me very very slowly. <laughs> I this one I don't remember the name of. Uh, so I'm just going to put in, don't remember. I do remember she was a part of Penny's team, I do believe, during the fighting festival. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really remember her name at all. <laughs> again, just sort of a throwaway character. I don't think you ever see her again. So, maybe if, if uh, Volume 10 gets greenlit, because obviously Ruby's back now. So, if she goes to, like, fight with Salem and that whole situation happens, maybe a lot of these throwaway characters will actually come back for, like, a big war at the end. You never know. Cinder. My good god, I hate her. But I love her at the same time. It's one of those things. I'm going to put in like because I think she makes a cracking villain. Like, she's good at her job when it comes to, you know, being a villain. Plus, she's got badass powers. And she's also a maiden now. So, as if she wasn't already strong enough. Actually, no, there's no. God, no. I'm going to put in hate. I've changed my mind. I've just remembered what she did. Oh, God, how could I forget? Dear God, no, she... God, she killed her. Oh. I almost said I liked her as well. Holy shit, Ryan, what is wrong with you? Anyway, she's going in here for that one moment that she did. I can't... I, I still get nightmares. Clover. I liked Clover. God damn it, man. I was so depressed when he died. Like, he wasn't exactly a character that, like... I was like, oh my god, like, I love him. Like, he's great. But it was his relationship with Crow, and the fact that, obviously, he has the complete opposite um, power. He has the power of good luck, whereas Crow is obviously bad luck. And the fact that he, Crow finally found a person that sort of counterbalanced him. So, like, when he was playing cards, they both kind of liked it, because obviously, if, if Clover plays cards, then he's, he's, he's got the power of luck, so he's constantly gonna just get good cards but then he's getting counterbalanced by crow's bad luck so it's actually the first time they've both been able to do stuff where they haven't thought oh well, my semblance is now playing a part in everything that's happening and i was low-key kind of devastated when he died oh my god let's just move on let's just move on coco all right i rem i do remember her i she has the um the 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 i'm gonna put her in neutral because i don't really care but she has she has that big uh, like, what is it, like a bag that like can like absorb dust or something like that and she can use them as like weapons. I think that's her. God, I could be so wrong about that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's her. Uh, if not, obviously just mention it in the comments. But yeah, I I'll put her in neutral. Again, most of the characters from the fighting festival are probably just going to go in neutral. Because they're, like I said, kind of throwaway characters that you never really see again. So they never really left much of an impact to me personally. So, sorry if I offend anybody in this video, but you're always going to offend people in videos like this. If I don't put a, a character they like in love, like a top five, spit. Double spit. Disgusting. Anyways, moving on. A Cordovin. Cordovin? Cordovin? I think that's her name. Uh, I'll put her in like. I didn't like her at first because she was kind of a massive asshole, but then at the same time kind of also just doing her job. But, of course, she was going against Ruby and the gang. So, immediately in my mind, I'm like, how dare you? Like, how dare you? You're you're a bad person. But then, of course, she had the, the fight and the robot. And it was pretty badass. But then, they kind of all sort of joined together, which was cool. So, uh, yeah. I liked her in the end. But it, it did take a good long while to get there. Uh, this guy... I'm going to put in Don't Remember because I really don't remember his name. He's such a throwaway character. But he was part of the, the cult. The cultists, right? Uh, with um, Adam, I do believe. Not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who that guy was. Again, pretty sure, just a throwaway character. I don't think he actually did anything in that show. So, uh, sorry my guy, but you're going and don't remember, because God knows who you even are. Alright, this guy is D, right? I think he's like Tweedledum and Tweedledee. It was the two guys that I'm pretty sure I thought were based off of uh, the two guys from Avatar. 
which I swear, I shit you not, the, their design and the way they were acting and everything, you'd think they were the same person, but apparently not, and I was completely wrong. It's supposed to be Tweedledum and Tweedledee, so I'm going to put in neutral. I they, they just really didn't do anything. They were sort of incredibly throwaway characters. They did literally sweet nothing. Another character that's just going to be put in Don't Remember. I know, she, again, she was in the fighting festival, and I'm pretty sure she was part of Team... Maybe is it Indigo? Team Indigo, maybe? Team No, I have no idea. It's one of them. She's in one of the teams. Uh, but again, nothing. Like, she, a lot of these characters are just me being like, yeah, I don't really remember them because literally a lot of them are just throwaway characters from then. So sorry. Uh this guy was on his team, right? I'm yeah. Dude's going and don't remember. He is I even though I slightly remember him, I don't remember him doing anything ever. So guys going in, don't remember, do apologize, but uh yeah, yeah. The other part of the like, Tweedledum and Tweedledee, I'm pretty sure. So those guys are just going hand in hand. Like both of them really did sweet nothing in that entire thing. So yeah, you're you're going in neutral and you're gonna like it. Alright, Elm. Alright, uh she was part of the Aesops, right? And they, I don't really know how to feel about them. I've, I've put her in just like that. I'm just leaving her there for just a second. I don't really know how to feel about her because she obviously obviously had to go against Ruby and everyone because of Ironwood and that whole thing. Wasn't really a big fan of her semblance. I'm pretty sure she was the one that could just like root people to the ground or something. Which is not really all that good to me. But she was all right and she... like kind of like help each other so i'm gonna put her in neutral um i don't really care too much about her but they kind of make up sort of so yeah i'm just gonna put her in neutral emerald you know what it is? i'm gonna put her in like mostly because illusions i love anything to do with like illusions and illusion illusion magic and stuff like that because it's just freaking cool but again, she is technically against the people, against Ruby. But they do sort of make up again. Uh, I like her design. I like her, like emerald-ish hair, like the, the mint green. It looks really cool. And again, her semblance, love it. I think, looks, I think like the applications of what she can do are freaking nuts. And she's a wicked fighter as well. So happy days. This guy, you're you're going in there because you're just a part of the cultists again. Ain't nobody care about that. This one, I can't remember her name. I am going to put her in like, though, because I'm fairly certain she's the one that has that cool semblance where she can, like, she has, like, a sort of pocket dimension. She can, like, absorb things into herself and, like, repel them. Like, you know, so, like, if you have, like, a map or something, she could just, like, take the map away. She's just, she, she can, like, have everything. I'm fairly certain that's her. Um, if I'm wrong, obviously, just let me know and you know, call me out on my bullshit, because Lord knows I'm probably wrong on 90% of this. Uh, this guy, part of Team Sn, was it? Uh, he, he he had the like the trumpet and all that. Uh, he, was, he was pretty cool. Again, I'm, I'm just going to put him here. He was, wasn't was too out there, but he was pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah he, has, he has a trumpet, so <laughs> good on you, fella. This guy was a part of Team Coffee, I do believe. Uh, I'm going to put him in neutral. He was my favorite looking one out of the group. I can't remember what his semblance was. Because his name was Fox or something, right? It was Fox... Alan, Fox something? Fox something. I, 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 that's all we need to know. But yeah, his design in general, I just like, like, like the look of him. He looked really cool. So for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to put him in neutral because... I don't think he had much of a personality. Uh, and like I say, I can't really remember what his semblance was. So neutral it is. Next up, we've got Freya. Right. I can't put her in anything other than neutral. She was the Winter Maiden that was in the facility, in Ironwood's facility, about to die and then give her powers to Winter. Because, you know, Winter was basically being brought up to be the next Winter Maiden. Of course, you know, the name suits her and everything. But uh, yeah, she obviously didn't really do much. She was sort of bad ridden. She was nice. I remember being nice, but 
I can't really <laughs> give her anything other than neutral because, well, she, she wasn't really in it long enough to give me for me to give her anything else. Blake's dad, I am going in like. Actually, no, it is. I'm going in love. Screw it. You can go right next to Blake. The dude's epic. He's badass. He's got a badass semblance. He's powerful. He's manly. He's got chest hair coming out the wazoo. Fucking love that guy. And he was a nice dad on top of that. On top of everything, he was actually a nice dude. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, what's your name? Sorry. Glinda. <laughs> I remembered in the end. I'm going to put her in like. I thought she was going to be in it a lot more than what she actually was. But unfortunately, she's not. But her powers are really cool. Like, you know, when things are like destroyed and everything, she's just like whipping her wand out and just, you know, fixing everything. She's like that spell from Harry Potter. Really cool. I can't remember what her semblance was, though. That's the thing. Or was that her semblance? I have no idea. Doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, I really like her. I hope she's in it more, because she's pretty cool. Uh, the two brothers, I'm going to put in neutral. Their guard, the pretty goddamn badass. And then, obviously, we found out in Volume 9 that it turns out they're from that uh, world, the that, like Alice in Wonderland type world. They were born there, went out, created their own like universe, created the Earth and everything. Create humans, you know, went back on it, destroyed the moon. It's a pretty badass exit, if I do say so myself, to just be like, all right, screw you guys, right? Wear out, and then just, you know, destroy the moon on the way. Of course, that would cause cataclysmic issues in real world. Uh, if you destroy the moon like that, like, it's fucked up. But, you know, this is, this is anime. We ignore what should happen. I don't have a clue who you are, love. Uh, again, part of the fighting festival, so realistically, should I even know who she is? Uh, I have a name of like the characters down the side here, so if you ever see me like looking off, I'm just trying to like figure out <laughs> who they are, because there's so many goddamn characters that you just never see. Well, never see again after like the first time you see them. Uh, but yeah, uh, she, she's part of the fighting festival. That's all I can say about her. That's that's her lasting impression is she was in the fighting festival. I saw you one time. Harriet, I dislike. Out of all of the Aesops, Harriet was the biggest pain in the ass. Her semblance is super cool to me because I love anything to do with super speed. So that's really cool. But her insistence on just sucking Ironwood's dick. We all wanted to do it. But my god, you don't have to show everyone how much you want to do it. Keep it in your pants, woman. Like, she was, she was just following to a T and just, oh my god, the mission, oh my god. Like, don't get wrong, she's like the perfect little soldier or whatever, but dear god, did she do my head in. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> we have Hazel. Now, Hazel, you know what? I'll put Hazel in like. His... Because he was the one that had the semblance where he, like, injected himself with um, dust, right? And, like, he got, like, super powerful with it. Uh, but he ended up helping Team Ruby, right? I think he died for it, bless him. But he was badass as hell, I, I remember that. Because, yeah, because the only reason he was even helping Salem was because he wanted to kill uh, Ozpin. Because he blamed Ozpin for his sister's death, obviously. Uh... It was, like, it was based off Hansel and Gretel, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, I liked him, though. Like, despite him want, like, basically trying to kill a child, because that, that child held the person he wanted to kill. But uh, other than that, pretty cool dude. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about that. This guy, I do believe... I'm going to put him in dislike. I think he was just the guy at the, the, the banquet, right? Where he was, like, trying to hit on... Um, on Miss Schnee, on Weiss. I'm pretty sure that's the guy, like, he's, he, he's beyond a throwaway character, but he was an asshole, because he was a rich kid. Screw that guy. But, uh, yeah, this, hey, this, this stupid thing. Don't get me wrong, when I first started talking, I was like, my God, a grim speaking, and then when I found out what it actually was, blew my mind. You know, I, like, I sort of guessed it, but at the same time, like, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not that hard of a thing to, like, be like, ooh, that's probably what it is. 
And that's exactly what it was. But yeah, no, he it, it's a grim. It's controlled by Salem. Does its own thing, kind of. And it also, like, you know, Damia killed a lot of the main characters. So yeah, no, Ilya. Uh, I'm going to put her on like. I didn't like her at the beginning. That whole situation with her and Blake and their whole love life situation that was going on. I, uh, I didn't like her because, obviously, again, she was going against our characters. But she grew on me. And by the end of it, I actually really like that. Plus, she's she like a chameleon, which is cool. She can like blend into the surroundings and stuff like that. So, hell yeah. Oh, I hate to do this, man. I hate to do it. But Ironwood, I'm going to have to put you in hate. Oh, I loved you for the longest time. You were such a badass character and you have one of the best soundtracks. Like, Hero is one of my favorite songs out of all of Ruby. But... He just went too far with it, man. He, like, I know, like, people use his semblance as an excuse, even though it's never technically said that he even has a semblance or what it is, but then apparently it's metal and, you know, he's so one-track-minded on what I'm doing the mission and doing this, that, and the other that, like, he doesn't see anything else. But he went too far with it, man. Like, he did despicable things. He was He was going to sacrifice an entire city. Dude went off the freaking mortal coil, man. He was... Yeah. I'm gonna move on. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting upset just thinking about it. I don't even recognize this character. I He looks... I can't even say where I may have seen him because I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't... Who is he? Who is he? Can anybody tell me? Lord knows I don't remember. Jack Schnee. He's probably my, despite all of the villains and everything, he might actually be the one guy that I despise more than everybody else. I hate his fucking mustache. His only redeeming quality, the only one, is the fact that he's voiced by Beerus the Destroyer. That is it. And, you know, a smatter and like, all mate and all that, you know, you know. All of the character, like, I love the character, I love the, the voice actor, and that is his only redeeming quality. Other than that, he's a massive throbbing bell end. Moving on, swiftly. Jean, oh, I love Jean. A lot of people don't, by the way. A lot of you guys really do not like Jean. They're like, you basically call him like a sniveling little bitch. But I like him. Like, I think a semblance is cool. Um, the fact that he can boost other semblances, it kind of suits him as like a supporting character. Uh, I, I, if I'm being honest with you, I preferred him with his longer hair rather than the short hair. But you know, whatever, you can't have everything. And of course, him and Pira had that love hair. Well, I would say it wasn't really a love hair relationship. It was a love love relationship. He just didn't realize it because he's fucking blind. But yeah, I, I, I love Jean. Like I've got nothing. I've got nothing bad to say against him. Jean again. I, I'll put her in like right here. She, another like badass ability to be able to know everything, but she can only what is it? She can only answer it three times, and then she is it like ten years? Is it every ten years or something like that? I can't remember what the time limit is, but she can basically answer every single question, and you know she. I mean. Pff, pff. Anyways, <laughs> moving on swiftly. I don't remember this guy. He looks like he would be from like. Uh, God damn it, I'm forgetting everybody's name now. Uh, what's her name? Uh, oh my god, Yang's mom's Raven. I look, I, I think he might be from Raven's, like, sort of guild thing. What, what, you know, that, that thing that she has. But I have no idea. Like, he doesn't ring a bell. So he's quite the unforgettable character. So, well, I'm just going to put him in Don't Remember. Move on swiftly. This guy... Uh, he's going in neutral. I think he's he's the bar owner, right? The one that uh, does he get his ass beat by Yang? Is it Yang that kicks him all over? Uh, again, I think I've seen him twice <laughs> in, in the entire run of Ruby. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put him on there because he, he, he did not leave a lasting impression, and I don't remember him being like he, a nice dude. I remember being a bit of a dick. So, yeah, I'm, I'll put him in neutral, and we'll, we'll just move on swiftly. I keep saying that. Whoever got that from, move on swiftly. What the fuck? Ryan, what is wrong with you? I don't know. I'm talking to myself. So, you know, clearly I'm not all there. We have Yang's... Not Yang's, ma'am. God damn it. We have Blake's mother. Uh, Carly, I'm pretty sure she's called. Don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Uh, again, 
she's pretty badass. I mean, she she fought like a warrior, and she's a super nice mom as well. So I'm gonna put her in love because you know that that entire family is just the most adorable thing ever. Uh, the butler. What's the butler called? Can I find him? Klein. Yes, the seven dwarfs. I, I'm gonna put him in like I like Klein. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna put him in love purely because he was essentially a father to Weiss and the, the whole Schnee family. He basically looked after them while her mom just drank herself into a drunken stupor, and her dad was, as I've mentioned before, a massive throbbing bell end. But I like the fact that he has like different personalities based on the seven dwarfs and. Even though, like, you know, you've got, like, the angry dwarf and everything. Yeah, he's always super nice to them. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in love. He, he's he's a freaking champ. Uh, this guy, I, 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 I just don't know. So, unfortunately, fella, you're getting put in Don't Remember. I believe he's... A, during, he, I think he was there during the Atlas fight. Maybe. But then again, probably wrong. Because <laughs> there are so many characters here. All right, this guy. Oh, this is, um... Ren's dad, I think, right? I think this is Ren's dad. I'm gonna put him in neutral again. He, he didn't really do much. Like, obviously, he, he fought and he, I'm pretty sure he saved um, saved Ren and stuff like that. So he was, he was a cool dad. He was a cool dad, I think. But uh, yeah, again, not really a character that I can really say much more about. Also, uh, you may notice I put this guy and don't remember, but I just skipped over it because I, I just don't remember him. So, <laughs> so there's no point to really speak about it. Little Miss Malachite, I remember her. I don't remember her being very nice though, so I'm gonna put her in dislike. Uh, and she obviously she wasn't really in it a lot. They basically went into like the chat to her, I think, to find someone. I can't remember. I think she was in Mistral, right? Um, but I don't remember her being like the nicest person. So I'm gonna put her in dislike, and straight away I'm also gonna put Lionheart. I think is it Lion? It's Lionheart, right? I think so. Yes, Lionheart. Uh, yeah, he's going to dislike as well. Uh, he was such a little bitch. Like, I was expecting, you know, you've got like, the Tin Man, you've got, um, you know, the Cowardly Lion, which obviously was what he's based off of, so it makes sense. But even so, he's a whiny little bitch, like, and he died. He died a bitch's death. So, <laughs> he's going to dislike. I, I just was not a fan of him at all. Maria. I'm going to put Maria in love. She's a, I mean, one. She's badass. She's got silver eyes. She's badass as hell. Uh, I love the little, like, goggle things that she has that, like, open and close. Like, she's got eyeballs, even though, it's, well, I mean, she she probably still maybe has eyeballs that just don't really work. Since I'm pretty sure they got sliced out. But, she's badass, and she was a, she was a good fighter back in her day. And her semblance was really cool. She Was she the one that had the, um... Oh, was it? She could, like, see into the future for, like, a second or something like that. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Oh, she had, like, insane, like, reaction time. Oh, I can't remember. Whatever it was, it made her a really cool uh, fighter. Badass. Uh, I, uh, it's another one of the Aesops. I'm going to put him in neutral. I liked him. Like, out of all of them, he seemed, like, probably the coolest one. Like, like... You know, not wanting to like hurt people and stuff like that. And he was actually nice. I think he was a he was a dog faunus, right? Because he had that um oh, what was the semblance? What was it? He said like stay or something like that, or sit or something, whatever he said, and like people would like freeze. And it was it was the way he said it and stuff like that. Oh man, it was pretty goddamn badass. But I'm gonna put him in neutral because like he was a part of the Aesops and the they were a bit finicky in my book, but I liked him nonetheless. I think he was a he was a nice character. Alright, next up, again, I'm just sort of skipping characters that I don't remember because I've got nothing to really say about characters I don't remember. Uh, they're, they're like just ones that are either part of the fighting festival or I don't even, like this guy must show up during the whole Blake situation. I, I don't think he's ever shown up again or ever will. He seems like such a random character to put on this, but whatever. Uh, but these two, I'm going to put in neutral. I think... If I'm not mistaken, these showed up in the yellow trailer. Uh, they're literally, they, they're just twins. I think that's just their gimmick. Like, I, I don't even know if they fight. I can't remember. And they've never shown up since. I don't think. Have they shown up since? Not that I can remember. So, yeah, they're just going to neutral. I, I don't really care for them. But, yeah, they are what they are. Mercury. Now. <sighs> what about... Hmm. 
Because he's he's more of an ass, I think, than Emerald. He's got a... He's got robot legs. Pretty cool. But... I'm going to put him in like. I like his design. I like the way he fights. He's really fucking cool at fighting. Uh, but... And he's also voiced by my boy Yuri Lonefall, who voices Sasuke Uchiha, or Uchiwa. <laughs> um, which, you know, just bumps him up in my book, just because hearing his voice just reminds me of Sasuke. So, I'm going to put him in like, but he is a bit of a master throbbing bell end at times. But he, you know, sometimes you like throbbing bell ends, sometimes we don't. He's one of them that I like. <laughs> All right. This is more like it. Neo, she is in my top five. She is actually a contender for my favorite character in the show because she's freaking epic. She doesn't speak, yet she is like the sassiest character in the entire show. She's got a cool design. She's a badass fighter. Like her fighting style is probably my favorite in the entire show. She's got a mad cool semblance and just everything about her is just great. Every time she's on the screen, you just know it's going to be a good time. So for that, she's definitely in my top five, if not my favorite character in the entire show. But uh, yeah, she's fucking great, man. And she has heterochromia, which is just cool in itself. All right, she is actually a character I do remember. I'm going to put her in like she was in the fighting festival as well. The only reason I remember it is because she's based off of the Nyan Cat meme. So she has like rainbows and shit, and I'm pretty sure she, she has um, rollerblades as well, right? She like rolls around in rollerblades and stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty goddamn cool. Neptune, uh, I'll put Neptune in like, I, I like him in Sun's like relationship, like their friendly relationship. I always find it funny that the fact that, you know, his, because his semblance is based on water, right? But he's afraid of the water, and of course his name is Neptune, and everything about him screams water but then i think what was it like he he almost drowned or something so now he's like super scared of water which you know i mean fair play to him god damn it i mean i don't like water i'll get a bath sure but i don't like the ocean i have thalassophobia my god if i go near the ocean it freaks me the hell out oh it's just it's just creepy all right let's get off this goddamn topic that i started <laughs> i don't like it another one of my top five nora I love her. I love everything about her. She's hilarious. She's badass. She's got a cool semblance. She did that like thing where she like took in like, too much electricity and sort of like burnt herself. In plus, plus she, she she's my type of woman, man. She can put it away. She can eat for eating's sake. And like I said, she's always peppy and she's always like super upbeat. Apart from that, like, I'm pretty sure she had like a bit of a depression session at one point, but uh, rightfully so. Like she, a lot of shit was going down. But yeah, she's also in my top five. I absolutely love her. Ooblek, I like Ooblek. He's cool. I don't remember. Does it even show you what his semblance is? But I just remember like he's always drinking coffee and he's always he's nuts. He's just everywhere, running around like a freaking nut job. It's hilarious. But uh, yeah, I, I like Ooblek. I think he's out of the the two teachers that you see. I can't remember the name of the other one. I'll I'll come to him when I come to him. But uh, yeah, he he was definitely my favorite. It was, <laughs> dude's nuts. Oscar, oh my boy, I absolutely love Oscar. He's the most adorable little thing, and he's been shafted, man. I mean, bless him. He's like what, freaking twelve years old or something, and eventually his soul and uh, Ozpin's soul are just gonna merge together to create, a, like, a, a, essentially a new being with all of Ozpin's memories of like all of his past lives and stuff like that. So he's essentially not even gonna be himself, which is super sad, but. Um, I'm hoping that they somehow find a way to be able to, like, separate them before that happens. Because I'll be upset if he goes. I'm not going to lie to you. Oscar's there. Uh, <laughs> he's my boy. Ozpin, again. I love Ozpin. The whole mystery behind, like, who he was and how he knew everything and all this different stuff was great. Uh, and, you know, he's pretty goddamn powerful. And the fact that, like, he technically can't even... Well, not technically. He can't die. He was literally cursed to live forever just so he couldn't be with uh, with Salem. Uh, whatever her name was back in the day. I can't even remember what it was. But yeah, he was like literally cursed just so he couldn't be with that because she pissed off a god. So anyways, um, pretty cool. Uh, cool fighter in his whole like, I know everything. There, there have been times where, you know, he's been wrong and he's hid things and he's, he's, got, he's got problems, man. Like, you got to think this dude's been around for what, like thousands of years or something like that. Like, 
He's tried every which way to do every little thing possible and it's all failed and he's end up dying. So you, you can't blame the dude for, you know, being the way he is. But yeah, I love him. I think he's great. Another one. She is another contender for my favorite character. Uh. Oh man, you know what it is? To kill her off once was one thing, but to then bring her back, make her human, just to have her like killed in the next episode, legitimately crushed me. I was like, what was that? I couldn't believe it. But she's like, she's like my favorite character, dude. Like, she's hilarious. She's so peppy. I love the way she talks. It's great. And she's also, again, badass. She's a badass fighter. So everything about Penny is great. And I'm beyond upset that she's gone. But moving on. Um, Penny's dad. Uh, I'll, not, I'll put him in like. He's a really nice character. And obviously, like, he's Penny's dad. And, you know, he, he loves Penny. And they have a, a super adorable relationship. But, uh, and he's also voiced by the same guy who voices, ah, uh, in The Walking Dead, who is it again? Not, not Kenny. What's the main character? God damn it, I can't think of what his name is. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, he voices him, so, uh, you know, that, that's just a bonus. This is the one I was on about, Port. Uh, I'll put him in like as well, uh, like next to him. I liked him as a character, he wasn't really in it that much, he was obviously he's one of the teachers, so he was kind of in it at the beginning quite a bit, and then just sort of fizzled out towards the end. Uh, but yeah, he's just, I, I didn't dislike him when he was on the screen, he was, he was, he was okay. Oh, my girl, Pira. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably super loud. Yeah, oh god, I love Pira. She was only in it, obviously, for three seasons, but... I mean, she was quite literally a badass fighter. She was like a top contender fighter. Super strong, had a really cool semblance. She had obviously that the, the love for Jean, even though he didn't freaking notice her. She's, she's like, notice me, senpai. And he's sitting there like, no, I'm going to go for Weiss, a girl who doesn't even care for me. Crow. Ah, oh, dude, Crow is also in my top five. I love him. I love his design. I love his weapon. His semblance is a bit shitty, like, since he can't turn it off, nor can he control, like, what it's, like, against. So, it kind of is detrimental, hence why he doesn't really, like, roll in a team. It's detrimental to everything. Uh, but, yeah, I love him. I, I feel like Bali, like, obviously, the whole drinking all the time is probably due to the fact that how lonely and depressed he is. But, he, um, yeah, he's a great character. Uh, definitely in my top five. If you, you guys probably already know, because, uh, you know, he's... I love him. Raven, I dislike her. She is a massive bellend. She, like, I just, like, she's a twat. Like, the fact that she's a, a maiden is all, it's, like, so cool. You know, that's, that's cool. She's powerful or whatever. But everything about her, like, she's just horrible as a character. She's a terrible mother. She's a freaking, oh, God, I just hate her. I'm going to have to move on because I'm, I'm getting wound up just talking about her. I don't know who you are, so you, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, Lai Ren. Is it Lai Ren? Or is it just Ren? I know it's just Ren, but like, is it Lai Ren? Don't know. Gonna put him in love. I, uh, I love him. I think he's great. He's, he's such a, like, a monotone character. He has his moments. Uh, I kind of like his weapons. Uh, in his semblance to sort of, like, cut out other semblances, like, to be able to, uh, like, sort of hide in plain sight and stuff like that. Really cool. Um, goes well with his personality. Happy days. Uh, this guy, I'm gonna put him in neutral. Uh, Rhodes, right? I'm pretty sure that's his name. He wore, he trained Cinder back in the day when we found out about her backstory, and then Cinder, of course, killed him. So that was fun. Uh, but yeah, he's not really a character I, I care too much about. Uh, same with Robin. I think Robin's like a coolish character. Obviously, the whole Robin Hood thing. Uh, she was going up against Jack. Was it Jack? She was going up against. I can't remember, but she was going up get like politically going up against someone, and um, yeah, she 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 had a little bit, but I, I she kind of sort of fizzled out for me. I you know what it is? I kind of I like Roman, right? Is a like bad character, is like an antagonist. He was a bit shit. He kind of got his ass handed to him constantly, but uh, 
yeah, I, I, I like it. I like his relationship with Neo as well. He had like a really nice, like, sort of, I like father daughter relationship. Like, he looked after her and things like that. But uh, then he got aired. Which I was in denial about for the longest time, by the way. I was, just, I was like, nah, he, he's going to show up at some point. But no, he, he never did. He never did. All right, Ruby. I think Ruby might be my last one in my top five. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind, depending on who else we have. But I think Ruby's probably going to be the last part of my top five. I think Ruby's, like, a great character. Like, the... The fact that she always keeps her team together. She's, again, a badass fighter. Her semblance is nuts. Uh, she's got a scythe, the same as Crow. So, you know, you know that's great. Uh, and, like, the fact that she's always sort of, like, put the team first to make sure everybody else is okay. It wasn't literally until Volume 9 where she, like, cracked under the pressure of, like, everything that's happened and then sort of crumbled. But other than that, yeah, I, I love Ruby. Plus, she's the main character. You, I've always got a soft spot for the main characters of anything that I watch. So, you know she's going to be in my top five. Uh, this guy, I think he was the, the, you know, the he was in the Aesops as well, right? He, did he have, like, the stretchy arms? Nope, never mind. He was not in the Aesops. That is a different character. I just had to quickly check. Yeah, no, well, I <laughs> clearly don't remember him. He, he must have been in the fighting festival. But, uh... Yeah, you, you can you can go there for. Oh no, this is the guy I thought I was thinking of. This I'll put him. I'll I'll just quickly do him. I'll I'll put him in neutral. Um, he, he had that. He's like he stretchy arms. Plus, I'm pretty sure he sacrificed himself, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, poor guy, man. Yeah, he he, he was all right. He was nice. He was nice enough. Oh my good god, I'm putting her in fucking. Oh oh oh. Anyways, uh, sorry, had a phone call. Yeah. I'm going to speed run this last little bit because I <laughs> I got to go. But yeah, Salem. Oh my God. Don't even get me started on this stupid wench. Oh, I hate her. Cannot stand her. Like, this whole situation is her fault. She's such a bonkers character. I was going to swear, but you know what it is? I'm better than that. I'm better than her. Uh, she's, uh, I don't remember who she is. Saffron. Saffron. She's the the mother, right, of the, of the baby. Uh, and she's... Uh, Jean's sister, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's Jean, she's Jean's sister. So uh, yeah, I'll put her neutral. She was she was a nice character. She kind of just didn't really do much, sort of fizzled out. But she was nice. She let them stay at her home. So you know you can't complain about that. This guy's the one who got his ass slapped. I'm gonna put him in dislike. Yeah, hey, I'm pretty sure he's the one that got his ass beat by um, Yang. I'm pretty sure Yang just kicked the shit out of him. Cause he was a uh, he was a bit of a bit of an asshole. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you gotta put him in love. God, he was such a good character. He's such a random one. Like he's just a shopkeeper that just shows up in the background. Okay, he's literally the cabbage guy from um, from Avatar: The Last Airbender. He shows up randomly. He doesn't ever say anything, and yet he's a fan favorite because he's great. <laughs> uh. Was it Sienna Khan? I think that's what her name was. Uh, I'm gonna put her in neutral. She seemed like an alright character, but then she sort of just randomly got killed off by Adam. I'm pretty sure, which was kind of like out of the blue. So yeah, poor thing, man. But she, she, I'm pretty sure she was. She was quite a nice character. Uh, the other council dude. I'm gonna put him in dislike because he was an ass. Uh, I'm pretty. He's the one that got shot, right? Fairly certain he's the one that got shot by Ironwood. Which is hilarious. He just kind of runs in there and Ainwood's just like, ah, no, Uno reverse card and just shoots him in the fucking face. Disgusting, but hilarious. Uh, oh, of course, you gotta love Summer. Um, I'm gonna put her in love. I don't, obviously, I don't know anything about her really. Nobody really does. But she's shown up in like some flashbacks and things like that. And, you know, she's the spitting image of Ruby. I'm sure she was probably a nice character, but you never, we, we'll have to wait until maybe uh, volume 10 or. Maybe she'll never, like, come out as a character. I, I I don't know. But, yeah. From what I've seen of her, she seems super nice. But And she looks like Ruby, which, you know, is adorable. Son, definitely going in love. I absolutely love him. His attitude to everything is so chilled out that it's just freaking great. And, yeah. I like his semblance as well. And he's based on Sun Wukong, which, if he was as strong as him, nobody's messing with him in the show. Absolutely nobody. Uh, yeah, I love uh, Ruby's dad. Ruby and Yang's dad is 
the, like, the biggest sweetheart ever. Uh, and he's also like a cool character as well, but um, we, we haven't really seen much of him, really. So I can't really say it too much, but yeah, Tai Yang. Tai, Tai, what's it? Tai Yang? Tai? <sighs> Names, man. Escape me. But yeah, he's a nice, he, he's a nice guy. He's a nice dad. Uh, this, a little, I'll put her, yeah, she's her girlfriend or wife, right? Is it wife? I think it's a wife. Uh, so yeah, again, just, you know, she was really nice, but sort of just there. Didn't really do too much. This was the one, she, I'm going to put her in dislike. I'm pretty, she's the one that fought, um, fought Maria, isn't she? Because is she the one that like took her out? Is she like the assassin? I think, I think that's who it was. But yeah, f purely for that alone, she's getting a dislike. Like, no, screw that girl. Screw her. Oh. <sighs> Out of all of, of Salem's, like, helpers, I hate. Was it Tyrion? Tyrion. Fucking Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I absolutely hate this guy. Oh, he's such. Oh, the w w words. It's his, like, attitude. His snarkiness, everything about him, I absolutely freaking hate it. Uh, I don't even like his semblance. I don't like anything to do with him. And he killed Clover. And I'm pretty sure he framed Crow for it, right? Because he killed Clover using Crow's um, scythe. God. Oh, just everything, everything about him. He's just such a freaking, like, he licks the asshole of Salem, which just bothers me even more. Not because I want to do it. Cause she looked like a freak but yeah it just oh he's such a little <sighs> moving on moving on i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting wound up again all right velvet i actually do remember velvet she uh, she's the one that has the uh she's the bunny farness a rabbit farness and she has the um what was it called photographic memory or something i'm pretty sure she can like use her dust to create other people's weapons which, you know, is super cool. As long as you know how to use them. And she always seems, I'm pretty sure she always seems to be proficient in them. Which is, uh, you know, <laughs> just badass. But, uh, yeah. She's cool. I like her. I hope she shows up again. Because I, I you don't really get to see too much of her. Which is sad. But, uh, yeah. She's cool. She's cool. Vernal, I remember her as well. I'm just going to put her in dislike. Purely because she's in cahoots with Raven. And I hate Raven. Uh, yeah, she was the one that was the like red heron for being the uh, the, the spring maiden, was it? I think she's the spring maiden. Uh, when obviously it turns out it wasn't actually her. Of course. Which, you know, people... So, a particular person got super triggered with me at the fact that I didn't figure it out fast enough for them, for their liking. Which was hilarious. But I was like, alright, cool, no problem. Carrying on, fella. What? Oh. He's the same as Tyrion. I cannot stand the dude. He's oh my god! Like, just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move on. I'm, just, I'm 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 getting triggered. I'm getting triggered again. But yeah, I absolutely hate Watts. He's such a freaking ass. Weiss, I love Weiss. Who doesn't love Weiss, man? She's um, she's Weiss. She's got badass powers. She uses her dust and the, the glyphs and stuff like that. And I really like the way she does that. She has a rapier, which is cool. Uh, she's a cool fighter. She's a, a nice person, despite what I thought when I first started watching this. I thought I wasn't going to like her. But she grew on me super fast. Uh, yeah. And obviously the whole stuff with her and her dad and that whole situation. Her mom. When you learn about her, you 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 you, you like her. You can't not like her. Uh, I'll put her brother. I'll, I'll put her mom in neutral. Because... She's a raging alcoholic, but then again, if you have to live with um, Jacques, what, what do you expect? Like, I'd probably turn... I'd turn to alcoholism if it meant I had to live with him. Uh, yeah, I like her brother. Like, I didn't like him at first because I thought he was a bit of a weasel, a little sniveling weasel. But uh, he, obviously, you know, you get why. Like, he's stuck in a house with Jacques and he's basically mentoring him to be an asshole. So... You kind of get why, but he's, he's, he's nice. He's a nice guy. Winter, I love Winter. She's now the Winter Maiden, which super suits her, of course. Uh, she's a badass fighter. The only problem is the fact that she... Uh, like, obviously worked with Ironwood. But then again, she kind of went against him and stuff like that. So, you know, she gets a pass. I love her. Yang, I'll put in love as well. 
Yang's probably my least favourite of Team Ruby, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, she's had a lot of moments where I've just been like, you re did you really have to be like that? She's got a cool semblance, and she looks like she goes super sane, and she's, you know, she's she's a strong woman. But, yeah, she's I still love her, but she's probably my least favourite. This guy, I really don't remember. Uh, this guy, I also don't remember. I have no idea who that guy is. And, of course, Zwei. Zwei? Zwei. Who doesn't love the little doggy? Come on, I really hope... I get to see him again because he's freaking oh, he's freaking adorable. But he hasn't seen, been seen since like season or volume two or three or four or something like that. Uh, it was it was a while ago. But yeah, he's adorable. Who, who doesn't love him? But yes, sorry that last bit was a little bit rushed. I'm actually super running out of time. My girlfriend keeps ringing me to, <laughs> to go and pick her up. Uh, she's like sort of walking down, so I'm, I'm going to have to get going. I'm probably going to get attacked. But um. Yeah, epic. That is my uh, list for all of the Ruby characters that were on here. I know a lot of them I don't really remember. Because like I said, a lot of them were just from the Fighting Festival, which I don't remember them that well. Because uh, that was about like, Season 2. Who's going to remember a character from Season 2 that never shows up again? Unless you watch this show religiously, then you probably do remember. But uh, yeah, anyways. Sorry if I triggered some of you <laughs> for like you know not putting your characters in like certain places. I know... Everybody in these types of videos usually skips to the end and then it's just like, oh my god, you don't know shit. How dare you put that character that I love in a dislike or a hate. You're only hating on them because they're a bad guy. But then, you know, don't proceed to like not watch. I mean, it's quite a long video. We're talking over an hour now. So, you know, if you just watch the video, you'll understand why. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I made a little bit of entertainment for you. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Please do smash that like button if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.